Hey there, welcome to the Naudimi video tutorial series. Today we are going to learn the for each loop in JavaScript with some code examples. The for each loop statement iterates over a specified variable over all values of object's properties. For each distinct property, a specified statement is executed. This is the basic syntax for writing a for each loop in JavaScript, the variable and the in keyword and this is the object that will have some properties inside it and then the statement goes here so we will make it more clear with some code examples let's try to do it i will create an array list over here with some properties inside it a b c something and i will call this list to loop through for each now i will call a callback function callback function and a parameter inside it that name is entry I'll route down the statement over here. Entry. I will concat it with the br take for the line break to make it more clear. I will close this function over here. Control C. And this is the output over here. We have looped all the properties one by one from this list of array through this for each loop and output it to the document. So let's try to look at another example of an array with using for each loop. I will create a list over here with some numbers. I will create a variable called sum initial equals to zero. And I will again loop through this numbers list. So I will say that numbers dot for each and a function that is callback and a parameter inside it that can be anything. Now I will say that sum equals to sum plus whatever the end contains. I will display this result to the document. Then I will say document dot write and whatever the result is inside sum that will be printed to the document. So save it and go to the browser. The output is 10 obviously as expected. 1, 2, 3 and plus uh, 4 is the sum of 10. So what we have done over here, we have created an array list that contains some numbers that will be going to 8. And we have created a sum variable that has initially a 0 value. And we have looped through this uh, numbers array through the for each loop and call a callback function that has a parameter called n. That will contain all the values one by one from this array list. For the first time, this n will be 1. And then it will assign the value to the sum variable. This is initially 0. So it will add this 1 to itself. That will become 1. For the second time, it will become 3. Because the n will be 2 and this will be 1. So this will be 3. For the second time, it will be 6. And then for the third time, it will be 10. Because the 6 will plus 4. So this will become 10. And we displayed the output to the document. So these were the simple examples of using for each loop in JavaScript. Hope this makes sense to you. Thank you so much for watching.